Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. I'm going to be trying this underpainting technique, which I have been wanting to try for ages um, on video. I have done it in real life before, but I thought I'd give it a go um, on camera just to see how it turns out. And do you guys do this technique? Do you like doing it? Is it part of your daily routine makeup wise? It's a freezing day in Sydney today. I hope you guys have been well. I'm going to be first priming my face with Hello Good Stuff and it smells like beautiful you know, watermelon like the Glow Recipe and just putting that over the face. Make sure my mirror is in front of me. You can use this with powder products, you can use it with liquid products, you can use alternatively powder and liquid cream any type of product really because at the end of the whole thing it's just going to go it's going to be covered with foundation whether it's powder foundation cream foundation a tinted moisturizer this one here is the the matte beauty blush wand in pillow talk so i'm just going to be applying that pretty much over the cheeks i'm going to go quite heavy with this because they do say to go heavy so that's what I'm doing. I'm going heavy. And I think I did apply a little bit too much because we are going to blend this out, obviously. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to go in with some contouring. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. Now this is in the, the fair medium. Putting some of that as contour. And I'm just using my finger to pat that on as the contouring down the sides of the nose. I'm not going to do my forehead because I'm just going to let my fringe down so that's not going to be really seen. A little bit under the chin. a little bit too much but yeah that's fine it's all good now the NYX concealer serum this is in the shade vanilla putting a little bit of that under the eyes and that's pretty much it for concealer we need to start blending this out so I'm going to be using one side of a damp beauty sponge the other side is going to be left with foundation so I'm going to just work this blush in because the whole point of this is to blend it in you got to do a bit of blending before you put the foundation because otherwise it ends up being a real hot mess if you were to not blend this out first and just put foundation pretty much over it and I'm just going in with the contour I'm just using a different side to, to blend in the contour This contour pretty much sinks in really effortlessly, so I wouldn't be afraid to go a bit heavy handed with that. Contouring the sides of the nose, under the mouth, under the chin and jawline. Boy, don't I look like a, a I don't know, I just look like a, a very bad sunburnt victim. I mean, with the blush, I probably could have gone a little bit more. I'm actually going to go a little bit more heavy handed with that. Taking that blush and applying a little bit more. Why not? Did I open it up? No, I didn't. Oh, I think I did way too much there. Okay, let's pack it on. Pack it on and then blend it out. So it's quite, quite thick. Okay. Looking a little bit crazy. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty much looking into the viewfinder on my phone here. So camera lens is there. I'm just trying to get used to filming with my phone at the moment. Um, even though 
I do prefer filming with a camera. I'm more inclined to look at the viewfinder looking up rather than to the side, but anyway. I'm going to not do any eyeshadow today. I'm simply going to be using mascara because I just want this to be a very simple look. More about the underpainting effect, right? Okay. Now, um, I think I need to do a bit more contouring. Sorry guys, I am building up the contour now because we need it to be quite strong. So I've got that much contouring. I'm just going to put that back up and I'm going to blend that out. Oh, I think I did way too much. I need my tissue because it's all over the place. Oh dear. Getting the side of the contouring. And yes, this is a waste of product. That's why I probably wouldn't be using this technique on a daily basis, but maybe for the effect that it gives, yeah, why not go for it? Or if you just want to hurry up and waste product and get rid of something that you don't really like, you could use this technique. All right, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. I'm going to be going in with foundation and I actually do want to use this up. It's my Bare Minerals uh, Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream in the shade 5.5 Bamboo. And using the damp beauty sponge, which is very dirty at the moment, I'm just going to be putting that, squeezing that foundation on the back of my hand there. And I don't really have that much left, so I'm going to have to kind of squeeze it out like that. I think I'm nearly finished. I can put this in my empties pile. Oh, goodness, come on. I think that might be enough, right? Well, maybe not. I'm going to just try and squeeze. I need to not look in the camera and do this, so. Well, there we go. Yeah. Might have another two uses out of this, so that's okay. I'm going in with this side of the Beauty Blender. I'm picking in a bit of foundation, just about that much. And I'm just going to start off with the forehead, obviously, because that's the most product that we're going to end up with. And start working that foundation into the skin over the products that we've just applied. Down the nose. Picking up a bit more foundation over the chin. I still got to blend out my concealer, that's okay. We will. A bit more foundation just to Work that really in the skin there. Now that I'm now that I'm here, I just I really do need to blend out this concealer. So I'm just going to use a clean side of the the um, sponge and clean that up. I think concealer works really well when you let it set for a while. Anyway, now well, that's really good. So you can see already the finish of just pretty much blending all that out, right? You can see that, just getting a bit more foundation. Um, and doing the jawline. Okay, I've only got that much foundation left for this whole side of my face. I'm just going to get a little bit of that and start doing this side of the face. And then the remainder, no more foundation left. It's amazing how you don't need to be afraid of how much product you apply because you can just keep building it up with foundation to alter the effect of how deep you want it to be and another clean side of the beauty sponge I'm going to just work in that concealer 
And I think another good tip with leaving the concealer last is you can make it look like a highlighted effect when you're working it up to the temples there. Put a little bit of that over the eyelid just to mask off any redness. So guys, that's pretty much the underpainting technique in its most simplest form. You can still see shine, um, sorry, you can still see the contouring on the sides there. You can see that beautiful blush coming through. And yeah, so guys, I'm just going to um, put on some mascara, some lipstick, and uh, we'll see what the completed look looks like. But I'll just zoom you guys in. I don't know. Um, that's how the skin's looking. Hi. <laughs> ah, goodness gracious me. Oh, I'm going to do some eyebrows as well. So I'm just going to do my eyebrows, mascara. And this is just the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel. My one and done for eyebrow products. And for mascara, I'm just using the it Cosmetics Lash Out. Is that the Lash Blowout? And for lips, I'm just using the um, Mecca Max Pout Pencil in Ultra. And just color a little bit of that colour in the centre of the lid. And then I'm finishing off the lip look with the Makeup Forever Rouge Artist in the shade Enchanted Beige. Just a really nice beige colour. And guys, that completes the underpainting makeup look. I do like this technique only when you have some product that you want to use up and get rid of. You can, you know, just go full on with, you know, applying that makeup without abandonment. You know, pack it on because you can just pretty much go on with foundation of your choice or foundation that you're trying to use up to cover it up. Um, the more product that you use, you know, the more probably foundation you'll want to use on top. So if you don't want to go too killer with, um, you know, laying on those... Um, the foundation obviously not the foundation when laying on the blush the contour highlight and all that sort of stuff i didn't apply any highlighter to the face but again you can get that natural highlight when you're using a concealer um, over the um, product there so it's fine um, or you can go ahead and put a little bit of highlighter on which is what i'm going to do right now um here we go just using the closest highlighter that i've got in hand which is the charlotte tilbury nude gasm palette and just tap a little bit off and do a little bit of highlighting. Doesn't hurt. Just to do that little tiny touch of highlight there. Pretty. And a little bit on the nose. And that's it guys. So that completes the look of underpainting do you guys do it let me know what you think also for those of you guys who have recently um subscribed welcome thank you so much for joining me and i hope to do some more videos um soon if there's something that you'd like me to try something that's on trend at the moment please let me know in the comments below i'm more than happy to, to check it out but guys that's it for now so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all again soon Bye for now.